This is a, uh, a simple, really simple way to use Mission Planner in uh, creating waypoints for your autonomous missions. Uh, if you have an APM or a uh, PixHawk uh, flight controller. So first thing that you need to do, uh, even before setting this, is to make sure that you can get to the auto flight mode uh, on your transmitter. So you need to use the mission planner again to uh, make sure that you have a button or a switch or a dial that can take you to the uh, uh, auto flight mode. So once you have that set up, you can uh, proceed in again launching the mission planner, uh, going to the flight plan button there. Now, if you notice this, and this is an H pin there, it's called you know it's the home location and the white circle around it is the waypoint radius. Uh, the waypoint radius is basically an area where the plane uh, needs to hit in to consider that it has hit the waypoint. So the bigger this waypoint radius is, uh, you know, the, the, the farther the plane can from the middle uh, for it to consider that it actually hit a, uh, a waypoint. So we set it at default at 30 degrees and uh, for testing purposes I set the default altitude at 50 uh, 50 meters. Oh by the way uh, this is all default 2 meters but I believe you can change that to feet or to whatever uh, measurement you you want to use. Now to set this home location uh, you could either click here and then drop the pin to that area where you're gonna fly uh, or you can, uh, s this will automatically show up if you arm your PixHawk uh, on, on site. So for example, I, I get here, I arm the, my PixHawk flight controller, uh, the home button will basically show up pretty accurate to where my plane is. Now, to set up waypoints it's uh it's pretty straightforward basically uh let's delete this first you just right uh right click on anywhere and then you choose uh, insert waypoint or you could just left click on anywhere and it will set up the first waypoint for you uh, but for this uh, demonstration, I will also include a takeoff, an auto takeoff, and an auto landing command uh, for this mission. So to do that, you basically right click to where you think you will be taking off, whether it is uh, through a uh, using a plane with a landing gear, or I, I use a mini Talon. My Pixar is installed in a mini Talon, so I chuck it uh, against uh, the wind it's best practice so you just right click here and then say takeoff it will ask you for a takeoff altitude I for testing purpose I use 30 basically what this is is when you chuck it it will uh, aim for that altitude and then uh, we'll proceed to the next waypoint when you click OK, it will ask you for a takeoff pitch. Now, you know, these numbers will uh, depend on what airframe you use and, and how familiar are you with fl its flight characteristics. For me, I also use 30. I've tested this and um, basically my plane just you know, takes off and uh, try to hit the 30 meter altitude with a takeoff pitch of uh, 30 degrees. So once you click OK, you will see here at the bottom you will have uh, a takeoff command with an altitude of 30 and a pitch angle of uh, 30 degrees. Now after that I uh, I click anywhere here in this area where I plan to do my uh, mission to set up my second waypoint. Basically that's my first waypoint but it's 
going to be the second waveform is the takeoff is the first one so if you notice here this distance is between the takeoff or home or, and uh, your next waypoint now the altitude is uh, set at 50 at, at default I know um, based on the flight characteristics of my mini talon that it could reach that uh, uh, altitude with that given distance and that's not a problem so pay a particular attention to that maybe do not uh, set the next waypoint too short wherein your plane cannot be able will not be able to uh, to hit that altitude uh, with the distance that you programmed it to so that's the first waypoint and uh, I again it's the same process you just click anywhere here in this area and it will set the next waypoint and it will give you that distance for now uh, for testing, I just use uh, 50 meters as my default altitude. So any waypoint that I program here will be 50. Now, again, if your next waypoint would be higher than your next waypoint, make sure that the distance is enough for you for your plane to to climb to that altitude. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that for takeoff, it doesn't really matter because what will happen is for example the wind is blowing from from this side going this going to this direction I will of course uh, truck my plane going that way for takeoff it will climb to the you know program the takeoff altitude and pitch angle and it will turn and uh, hit its uh, next waypoint and then proceed on to the mission. So takeoff is not really, if you notice, there's really no, uh, no pins for auto takeoff. Now, it's different when you program auto landing because, for example, I'm programming, I'm, you know, I'm putting this waypoints at home, uh, but I don't know when I get to the site where the wind's gonna be blowing from. So for example, I program the next waypoint here and wanted to land somewhere here. To do that, you just right click and put uh, choose land. So your last waypoint will be a land command with a altitude of one meter. I tried to I thought this, you know I thought of setting this to zero, but one works fine. I mean I tested this on. Uh, the launch site and uh, it just works now what I was saying is that this becomes uh, pay close attention to this because you program it here you load it up onto your uh, flight controller but when you get to the side the, the wind is not blowing from this side uh, going to that direction so for example again it's blowing from this direction going here uh, what I'll do on site is to change my last waypoint before landing and move it uh, maybe somewhere here so that it gives uh, the plane enough uh, uh, basically moves the plane against the wind so that it lands you have a better uh, chance of landing pretty close to your uh, configured uh, landing site if you if you do it this way I've tried the uh, landing crosswind tailwind and uh, you know it, it is pretty close to where I programmed it to land but it is not as accurate if I'm gonna land uh, uh, towards against the wind so just pay particular attention to that when uh, programming uh, or setting up uh, waypoints uh, using the mission planner so once that is done uh, you well, what I do is I would save the you know save this uh, mission to my PC for future reference or you know if I want to use again but make sure that you click right waypoints WPS that's what it means I've been uh, 
I did some missions where I can't figure out why my changes are not uh, reflecting or I'm supposed to land somewhere here, change it somewhere here, but the plane keeps going landing there because I forgot to write, uh, click on right waypoints. So that is uh, pretty much it to set up waypoints. Now there's other features here wherein you could set auto waypoints or you could set grids if you're doing uh, mapping or uh, surveying. Uh, you could, you could basically the concept is the same, and then you, if you want to land uh, uh, automatically or auto land, you just add the last command as uh, land. Now, some uh, pilots uh, that I've seen program this, they actually use return to launch. So after the last waypoint, it goes to the set home position, and then just uh, circles there based on your uh, loiter settings and and uh, other settings for uh, return to, to launch. So again, that's uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, if you have uh, any questions, please uh, uh, put your comments down uh, on the comments uh, section of this video. Thanks.